So how to pull home. So I want to talk about, um, I had a few issues with a, a student this week when we were doing an immersion. Uh, he had a few issues with pulling girls home. And uh, I just want to cover that real quick right now. As you guys can see, Sydney, Australia. Uh, we're in the uh, circular key, the beautiful circular key. The opera house is over here as well. And um, uh, just out, might do a few sets out here while we're here as well. But beautiful, Sydney, Australia. So, how to pull home. Uh, there was a few issues with my uh, student this week where uh, what he did was he thought, which is kind of conventional wisdom, is that he should take a girl out to a bar and have a few drinks with her and uh, that will kind of lubricate the whole date and uh, increase his chances of pulling her home. Now, I come from the other point of view where if you take it to one bar, you have a few drinks, it's, it's kind of underhanded, because if you think about it from her point of view, she obviously thinks, oh, okay, he's trying to get me drunk so he can take me home and sleep with me. Quite often women will think that way, uh, depending on how conservative she is. And if she's conservative and she's a good girl, she's more likely to think that. The more slutty she is, the less likely she is to think about that. She's like, oh, free drinks, and then go back to his place. Uh, but a conservative girl, the type of girl that you want to date, the type of girl that you want to have a, more of a long-term thing with, she's less likely to appreciate you trying to get a few drinks into her and pull her home. Uh, so this is something that I would try to warn guys not to. You don't have to drink before taking a girl home. She doesn't need to drink anything at all. You can be sober uh, and just rely on, you know, game rely on your personality and uh, have the confidence in yourself that you're going to be able to pull her successfully. The other aspect of it was uh, there was another girl where he tried to pull her to a restaurant um, and the restaurant was closed and instead of bouncing her somewhere else, he tried to pull her straight home. She gets to the front door of his hotel, uh, the, the uh, elevator, and she is like, whoa, are we going upstairs? And she panicked and goes, oh no, I'm not going home with you. I'm not going to your bedroom. Uh, and it was a failed pull. So these are just two scenarios uh, that kind of can get in your way when it comes to pulling girls home. Another aspect is if your room or your apartment is too cluttered, I would say minimalist is the best way, the, the, the highest probability of success is when you're more of a minimalist. So uh, if you have clothes all over the floor, you have all of these little things all over the table and it's cluttered, uh, that kind of reflects your mind. <laughs> and if you look like your apartment looks like a mess, there's just too many things going on. From my experience, that lowers your, uh, you maybe just look dirty, you, you come across lazy, you come across it projects a lot of things that you don't really want women to be thinking about you. Uh, so minimalist, clean, apartment, on top of that, uh, you don't need to get them drunk to pull them home. Now, how many times should you bounce a girl before pulling home? This is really important. Now, if you're just bouncing her to one place, like you're having one drink and then you're pulling directly straight home, eh, it's a little bit up and down whether that's a good idea. I would like to see guys bounce maybe twice, maybe even three times. And it could even be just like bouncing the buy some chewing gum or buy some ice cream or bounce buy a coffee or something like that. And then bounce to another place where you eat. And then maybe you go, okay, well let's go for a walk in the park and then try to pull home. Try to at least show some, build some sort of rapport on multiple different locations while outside before pulling back to your apartment. Uh, quite often they can feel more comfortable with you uh, until that way just tends to work a little bit better. They, they build rapport with you, they trust you a little bit more, but if you're going boom, straight home, uh, it does increase the probability of you getting destroyed and her not trusting you and not wanting to go upstairs. Another aspect is that, uh, to pulling is 
what if you're pulling her home and you get close to your home and she starts to notice, uh, she starts to act a little bit nervous and you don't notice it, sorry. Um, the, there is a risk there that if you don't really notice her being nervous and you just pull because you're not really aware of her feelings, you're, you're less likely to have a successful pull. A lot of guys pull girls home. Sometimes there's some guys that will pull 10 girls per year and only five of them they'll sleep with them. Uh, their pull to lay ratio decreases over time because they're not aware of her feelings and don't show enough empathy. Now, uh, uh, I've had a lot of students where they've tried to pull and I've like mic'd them up. I can see what's happening. I can hear what's happening and I can tell that the girl's starting to get a little bit nervous. But my student is not aware of that and he tries to pull regardless. Uh, when that often happens, she feels like she's not being listened to, like you don't understand her, like you were just robotically trying to pull another girl home and she doesn't feel heard, she doesn't feel like you respect her, etc, etc. If you're capable of seeing those slight little changes in her behaviour, her body language, etc, uh, and pull back, you're more likely to have success. Here's an example. It's a, it's a hard con concept to understand, but um, uh, let's just say you pull a girl back to your apartment and you start to notice just before you get to the front door that um, she starts to feel a little bit nervous. So instead of going and trying to open the door and try to pull her regardless, you slow down, you go, hang on, I forgot something, let's go back. Let's go back to the shop, I need to buy something from... Uh, the local supermarket, I need to buy some more food or whatever, let's go for another walk. Instead of getting to the point where she has to tell you that she doesn't want to enter your apartment, going back out and building some rapport and giving her a little bit more time to become comfortable with that, um, that will increase your pull to lay ratio over time substantially. Um, and it takes a little bit of experience, it takes a bit more feel, and uh, you can gain those skills, but it, it does it does come from you showing empathy from her, uh, watching her, and and being how can I word this? Like being aware of her feelings and showing empathy, and actually worrying that she's making sure that she's comfortable. Right? This is really important. Will increase your success rate over time. So these are a few things I wanted to talk about. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully that helps you guys. Top link in the description, check out the website. If you're in Sydney, Australia, you're gonna do some coaching with myself. Go to the website, sign up, fill out the uh, coaching form and um, uh, do some coaching with myself. Otherwise, I've got over 500 or more videos here on this channel. I've got 300 blog posts on the website. Uh, skim through those, check them all out, and uh, if you want to do some coaching, go to the website. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.